What are you doing? I'm killing a fly, mind. Actually, that's not killing a fly. That's chemical warfare. <laughs> Ashley, stop it. Well, you don't want it to go on living, do you? Yeah, but I don't want to die as well. <laughs> Here it is. On the bowl. Oh, no, not on the fruit. <laughs> Great. As if there weren't enough pesticides on them already. Well, flies are very unhygienic, you know. You know what a fly does, don't you? Uh, yes, thank you. It vomits on its food before it eats it. <laughs> yes, well, that alone should entitle it to a place on your rugby team. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ashley, let me see that. Where did you find it? Under the sink. Come on, I can see it. Just a minute. Well, I... Ashley, look at the can, then. Have you seen what's in here? Well, I know it's not love potion number nine. <laughs> Had it then. Well, not with this. Look, it's propelled by CFCs. Eh? Hey? You know, CFCs that are destroying the ozone layer. So? So? We're only all going to get skin cancer if it gets worse, that's all. Well, I didn't think a few squirts would make any difference. <laughs> well, that's what everyone thinks. But all the little squirts should add up to one big squirt, don't they? Are you going on about the rugby team again? <laughs> Look at all this rubbish, Ashley. You know, you and I create two binfuls of rubbish each week. That's all right. We throw it away. <laughs> but it's just so wasteful. Well, what are we supposed to do with our rubbish, then? Put it into a building society? <laughs> we shouldn't create so much of it in the first place. It's all this convenience food. Well, I'm not going to buy it anymore. I'm just getting organically grown stuff from now on. Oh, organic. Yeah, well, we all know what that means. Whatever it is, taste of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Look, it's healthier for us. I mean, we must be one of the least ecologically minded households in the country. Ah, there he is. And he's got a mate. Ah, not a spray. Well, I can't do... All right. I'll get him with a furniture polish, then. <laughs> got it. Right, now I've got to give it a quick polish with a soft cloth. <laughs> It's just another bandwagon, isn't it? Everybody's jumping onto it because it's trendy. The ecology is our future, Ashley. We have to take care of the environment or we've had it. Look, one day, you'll go for a walk, it'll start to rain, and all that'll be left of you is a set of teeth on the pavement. <laughs> and it'll be our fault. We're soiling our own nest. What's all this? Ah, oh, that's conservation, that is. I'm cutting down on waste. You see, all you need to bring down your heating bills is a roll of cling film, a bit of sellotape, and there you are. You have your planet-friendly double glazing. Well, that's not going to keep out any drafts. Oh, no. Yeah, you remember that advert on the telly with a feather? Well, you watch this. <laughs> there, not a single drop. <laughs> I'll buy a hundred. Oh, come on, it. You can give me a hand with the digging. Digging? Uh, oh, no, I can't. See, because I've got um, uh, shrapnel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just the thing for that. It's called an allotment. An allotment? What do you get one of those for? To grow things in. Well, what's wrong with your socks, like you usually use? <laughs> Come on. And bring some elbow grease with you. <sighs> elbow grease? What's in this sack? Organic fertiliser. Oh. You mean dung, don't you? <laughs> so where's this allotment, then? Here. Where? Right here. What is this field? <laughs> I can't dig up a whole field. I've only got a little fork. I've not got a whole field. Only a small corner of it. I think I'll get a shed as well. I'll assemble it over there, then I can grow some of the exotic varieties. All right, Ashley. Let's get cracking, then. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, then? One of these famous green fingers of yours going to see some action? I've got to decide which seeds to plant. Oh, well, you let me know when you get tired. <laughs> Just turn the soil over, Ashley. Let the air get to it. I'm beginning to understand this energy conservation. It just means get somebody else to do all the work for you. <laughs> Why couldn't you have hired a rotavator from the hire shop? Who needs a rotavator when he's got his own grandson? <laughs> Look at my hands. Look at the blisters on them. They're like hot air balloons. <laughs> well, I think an allotment's a great idea. Maybe we should get one. 
Ask Percy if there's any more space there. No, no, there isn't. <laughs> Definitely got the very last one. Oh, pity. So what was he doing while you were digging? Saving himself for his wedding night. <laughs> oh, here, look. I got one of these to try. <laughs> roll of sandpaper. <laughs> What's it for? Rubbing down the paintwork? No, actually it's for wiping your bum with. <laughs> Whether in your case that's similar to rubbing down paintwork, I wouldn't like to say. <laughs> but it's rough. No, it's not. It's just been recycled. <laughs> you mean somebody's used it before me? You know what I mean. Here. Tear that tissue up if you want to make yourself useful. We can use it when the toilet paper's run out. You mean? What, wiping? <laughs> you the bread was wrapped in this. So? Well, we might catch something. <laughs> yes, Ashley, you might catch a bad case of crumbs. <laughs> do it. What's this? It's a potato. What do you think it is? You don't want me to put this in the bathroom as well, do you? No, but you could get it ready for our tea. But it's filthy. It looks like it's been kept in a field or something. Actually, potatoes don't grow in plastic bags in supermarkets. It's organic. Well, what organs are it supposed to be? You've already done that. Will you do the cabbage? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's crawling on it. It's like the Night of the Living Dead in there. Eat you? Well, they're eating the cabbage. <laughs> well, no, I'm going to put rubber gloves on first. <laughs> oh, you're a real nature boy, you are. Is that what they charge? <laughs> for a few spuds and a cabbage? Organic <laughs> produce is more expensive. Oh, yeah, don't tell me. You're paying for the mud, right? <laughs> oh, here. I've got something for you as well. For me? Mm -hmm. Uh, pull over. Yes. Yeah. Do you get a recipe with it? <laughs> Go on, see if it fits. Hmm. You haven't got any really warm pullovers, so I thought I'd get you one. Oh. Is it all right? Yeah, it's not bad. God, it's heavy wool, isn't it? How does it look? Fine. How does it feel? Well, yeah, not too bad. Just hope the lifeboat isn't called out tonight, that's all. <laughs> Look, it's ecological. ecological, I know. Well, we always have the flat so warm. It's just a waste. If we wore warmer clothes, we wouldn't need it. It's always you who's complaining about the bills. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, I thought we could go down to the bottle bank after tea. <laughs> oh, I got you this as well. What's that? Something for you to catch flies with. It catches pests, disposes of them and recycles the remains. Great, what is it? A Venus flytrap. <laughs> I'm not having that in the bedroom. <laughs> that must have been some party. I wonder what the hangover looks like. Just getting rid of a few bottles. <laughs> of course, we do try to be ecology-minded ourselves, Elaine. I mean, we don't put just anything into our dustbin. <laughs> and we would go to the bottle bank, but we rarely have enough empties to warrant it, do we, Connie? <laughs> no, no, no. But it is difficult. I mean, even if you can find a free-range chicken, it's probably got salmonella or that hysteria. <laughs> and I won't buy eggs from battery hens anymore, or if I do, I try to make sure they're from long-life batteries. <laughs> yes, we're all concerned with the environment now. In fact, if it hasn't got preservatives in it, I won't buy it, will I, Colin? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs Phillips, you won't buy it. 
Well, that's what it's all about, Elaine, preserving the environment. So we buy things to preserve it. <laughs> and that is why we are living longer. It's the preservatives in the food. <laughs> well, they're keeping us pregnant. <laughs> in fact, it's quite fresh in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, we, uh, we like to keep it cool, you know. Mm, yes. Nice pullovers you're both wearing. Are you taking up folk singing? <laughs> we just don't like to keep the flat too hot. Ah, well. Anyway, um, before we have tea, I wonder... Might I wash my hands, Ashley? Sorry, Mum. Pay a call. Visit the little room and spend a few pennies. I think your mother wants to splash her boots, Ashley. <laughs> Is, Mrs. Phillips. I've put out a guest towel. Oh, thank you. Well, excuse me. I won't be a second. Here, Ashley. Thanks for not saying anything about the bottles, you know. Oh, that's all right. Thanks for not saying anything about the window I broke when I was ten. <laughs> um, everything all right, Mrs. Phillips? Oh, yes, thank you, dear. Um, Colin, a word? And I think Ashley and Elaine are in financial difficulties. They don't seem to have any proper toilet paper. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to... Well, I mean, you know how sensitive I am down there. <laughs> tactfully. Before we leave, offer them some money, but tactfully, Colin. Oh, right, right. Um... Ashley, mm -hmm. uh, look, um, oh, your mother and I had a bit of luck on the, uh, premium bonds. Oh! Yeah, oh. And, uh, oh, well, anyway, uh, here's a couple of tenors. Why don't you take a lane out one night and buy us some nice, soft toilet rolls? <laughs> Colin. Colin, we'd better be going now, in case there's an accident. <laughs> On the bypass. Right, bye then. Um, yes, goodbye. Thank you. See well, you soon. Bye. Mum, we'll see. Bye. <laughs> well, do you think she'll last out? Or do you think they'll need new car seat covers? <laughs> oh, that was great, wasn't it? That was a rip-roaring success. They now think we're sitting around here in pullovers looking like Captain and Mrs Pugwash because you can't afford to put the heating on. What does it matter what they think? Oh, well... They've always thought I was a bit of a failure, you know? One of life's runners-ups. And this will have confirmed their suspicions. They don't think that. They do. She's always comparing me with my brother and saying how wonderfully he's doing. You bet she'll be around there right now saying we're so hard up we're wiping our bums on bread wrappers. <laughs> Well, if you want to be a pioneer, you have to expect to be misunderstood. Yeah, I suppose so. How's your flycatcher? Oh. Nothing. Well, the flies aren't stupid, you know. I mean, yeah. they see that sitting there with its mouth hanging open and they all divert to Heathrow. <laughs> it is worth it in the end, though, Ashley. I know it doesn't seem much, but if we all cared for the environment, it would make a difference. Oh, yeah, I know, you're right. Hello. Oh, hi, Grandad. Oh, your new shirt's arrived, is it? And you want a hand putting it up? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm afraid Elaine's going to be very busy tomorrow, so she won't be able to... Yes, all right. I'll see you then. Ten o'clock. Bye-bye. Just as my blisters were getting better. <laughs> Look, it's the last thing I'll ask of you, Ashley. Good. Because I'm becoming an endangered species. All this environmental concern is killing me off. What sort of plant's that? Well, I don't know. I found it in a skip. <laughs> so the shed's already here, is it? Yeah, yeah, they delivered it yesterday. It just looked a bit tricky to put up on your own. Well, where'd you get it from? Timber reclamation. You see, Ashley, the good environmentalist never uses timber from endangered forests. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The people I got it from only use wood that's died of natural causes. <laughs> so it's in a kit, then, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a sort of kit, yeah. Assemble it yourself. Well, you get instructions with it, though. 
down. No, it looked fairly straightforward, really. Oh. Well, let's get cracking and get yeah. this shit up, then. Where is it? Here. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit basic, isn't it? <laughs> you make a start on the planks, Ashley, and I'll, uh, I'll just keep an eye on things around here. Right? <laughs> If I go on like this, I won't have any hands left. I'll just have paws. <laughs> Assemble it yourself, Shed, he told me. It was a tree. Well, if you put the shed up, what did he put up? His feet. <laughs> Still, it's all in a good cause, though, Ashley. Think of all those lovely homegrown vegetables we'll get. Mm. Oh, did you see about the car? Oh, yeah. I went to the garage, asked the bloke if he could get it to run on lead-free petrol. What did he say? He said we were lucky it would run on any sort of petrol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And as for all this fibre-packed food we've been eating, God, I'm about to start following myself down the road with a shovel. You've never been so healthy. Look at those clear, sparkling eyes. That shiny hair, that wet nose. Dead off. Mm. Ashley. What? Look at me a minute. What? Under your shirt. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> You're in the mood, eh? If you're a friend of the earth, does that mean you have to do it in a grow bag? No, it's just... Oh, my God. What? You've got a rash. It's awful. Turn round. And on your back. It's not measles, is it? Well, no, I had that when I was a kid. Chicken pox? No, I had that when I was a chicken. <laughs> oh, my God, should I go and see a doctor? It's either that or paint a cross on the door. <laughs> you must have developed some sort of allergy. Yeah, but what to? Ugh! I've got the lug. <laughs> it's probably some chemical or additive that's causing it. Well, that shed. <laughs> Elaine, I might have Dutch elm disease. <laughs> we don't have things with additives anymore, except... except lager. Lager? Yes. Some lagers have sulphur dioxide in them and all sorts of rubbish. They don't. They do. You'll have to stop drinking. Stop drinking lager? Oh, that's it. My life's at an end. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Purse. Yes, yes, he's here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not him. I want to speak to you. It's probably him I'm allergic to. <laughs> Total grandfather allergy syndrome. <laughs> Actually, it's serious. He's with the police. He's been arrested. Police? Arrested? Yes. By the drug squad. <laughs> Come in. It's not locked. <laughs> so, there he is. Mr. Big. <laughs> The Croydon Connection. Did you want something, Ashley, apart from grievous bodily harm? <laughs> well, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, if it's cool, if maybe I could uh, score a cup of tea. <laughs> I told you. I found those plants in the skip at the back here. As far as I was concerned, they were ordinary pot plants. Oh, well, you were right there. <laughs> I just wanted to try them in my allotment. And then that copper has to come round exercising his dog and it sniffed me out. Oh, you blotted your copybook, haven't you? You wait till they find out about this at the Masons. They'll be asking for your apron back. <laughs> Button your lip, Ashley, otherwise you'll be asking for your teeth back. <laughs> so, how many years do you expect to get, then? Ah, oh, they're not bringing any charges. They've let me off with a warning. Oh, yeah, well, I thought they would. Came and searched me flat, though. They didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you all covered in spots? <laughs> so, what was I allergic to? Huh? Additives, maybe? Preservatives, perchance. Artificial flavourings, perhaps. But no, no. Dear Mr Phillips, 
We write to inform you that our laboratory tests have established that you are allergic to wool. <laughs> we advise you in future not to wear natural fibres next to your skin. That's what I was allergic to. Big hairy fisherman's pullovers. Yes, Ashley, I read the letter. You see, it's all very well going on about the lethal man-made fibres. What about the sheep-made stuff, eh? Hmm. Think I'll have a lager in a minute. <laughs> no. no, two lagers. Or maybe I'll just get a barrel with a handle on it. <laughs> you sure you don't want some? No, thank you. Oh, it's delicious. You just listen, what's in there? It's got E-150 in it. <laughs> And E412. Causes kidney disease. Mm. And my favourite of all, E420. <laughs> <laughs> Causes flatulence. Oh, oh the very, very best news. Saccharin. Lovely. Mm. Not a natural ingredient in sight. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you like to see what else I treated myself to? If I must. Ta da! <laughs> Toilet roll in showroom condition with no previous owners. <laughs> and you'll notice the pullover? It's 100% acrylic. Yes, Ashley, I'm glad you mentioned that. <clears throat> Here you are. One electricity bill, 100% up on last quarter. What? Well, you turn the heating back up. Yeah, well, well, put some cling film on the window. <laughs> Is that a fly? Sounds like it. We'll get it then. <laughs> Useless. Two weeks it's been set in that pot, it's done nothing. The flies just circle the lampshade, taunting it. It's probably not hungry with you feeding it peanuts and cat treats. Human intervention, that's what's needed. A bit of brains. You see, the man of science comes along with his wonderful inventions and his mastery over nature and. What? <laughs> and destroys the world he lives in. <laughs> Time for a change of scene next here on Plus when we go way out west to the High Chaparral. Meanwhile, over on Bree shortly, you can enjoy the best of the view.